If you're watching this, it's because you're awesome. And you're about to learn something that makes you even more awesome. Thank you for watching our videos here on Sand Enterprises. In this video, we're going to go over how to do live streaming on YouTube. And we're going to go over how to do live streaming in such a way you can use Google Hangouts. You can have your friends come over and hang out with you on your live stream and be actually on the screen with you through Google Hangouts. First thing, you're going to open up your YouTube. And because you know YouTube is changing things right now, you're going to have studio beta up first. So you're going to have to go down here to other features. You'll want to go down to live events and just touch that. If you don't have touch screen like I do uh, and you like this computer, there is a link in the description to this HP Pavilion that I use. It's a very fast computer. It's really for like gaming and stuff, but I like it because I do a lot of editing. I don't do a lot of gaming. But it has the 8th generation Intel Core i7 in it. Now, you notice it pops up to where you can schedule a new event, so you want to click on that. If you've done any live streaming, you may be familiar with this. If not, you're probably familiar with all the same things from doing your videos, where you want to put your tags in here, you want to put your description in here. My default description and my default tags are already in there. If you haven't set that up, that's a whole other video. You'll want to put your title in here. So I just put live stream test in there. You can leave, the, if you're about to start live streaming right away, you can just leave the today and now right up there. But before you move on, one thing you need to be sure to do is change this where it says private. You wanna change that to public because if you move on without changing that from private to public, you'll, it'll look on your screen like you're going live, but you're not actually live and nobody can see you. Sometimes my internet is slow we're in the Appalachian Mountains and we don't have the fastest internet. There we go. It'll pop up this little pop-up because once you've downloaded Google Hangouts to your, and I use Google Chrome. You may have some trouble if you don't use Google Chrome if you're trying to use Internet Explorer, that kind of thing. That's another tip you need to know if you're going to be using Google. When you're going to go live, go live on Google Chrome so that everything is Google. Google Chrome, uh, YouTube's owned by Google, Google Hangouts is of course Google, and everything's Google, they work together very well. So it says you will now enter a Google Hangout on air so you can stream live from your webcam. If you meant to schedule your live event for later, please click cancel, which is right there, and edit your event time, which would be these windows right here. We're gonna go ahead and hit okay, because when this screen comes up and it says you're live, you'll notice that it's not really on air yet. Right here it's loading up and you've got this button that says start broadcast. Until you're ready to be seen on screen, don't actually hit that button. Which obviously I'm not ready to be seen on screen. <laughs> but I am in relax mode because of course I have made plenty of money today and I don't need to make any more today. So you have all these buttons up here in Google Hangouts. See, it's this Google and it says Hangouts up here. And so we're not only live, but we're on Google Hangouts. We're not actually live yet. Like I said, you hit start broadcast and blam, you're live because you've done all the other steps. And it has a little button over here that says off air and that's not lit, lit up. So you're, you're not on the air yet. So to be on the air, like I said, you'd hit start broadcast. But before you need to familiarize with these buttons up here, number one, if you want to screen share like you're gaming or something like that, and you want people to see what's on your screen instead of seeing your camera set up and all this other stuff like we are right now, then you would hit screen share. And of course, this is the screen right here that's on there, so it's going to be sharing that into infinity. So in order for it to share the actual screen, you click on that screen right here and then they will be seeing this. If you want to see your chat down here, 
you would click on the title of your live session right there and it will take you to another screen where all the chat is sitting right here where you can interact with the chat. Now we want to go back to that other screen, which is right here, and take it off of screen share, which we're not actually on yet because it didn't hit the share. I'm going to hit cancel. And go. And when you move your pointer is when your buttons show up. You can go to this button to make your chat show up here without doing the other part where I showed you. You can hit cameraman so you can change some settings. Right here you've got a control room where you have more settings. But I never use these. What I use is the invite people because like I said you want to use Google Hangouts so you can have your friends come over, your other YouTubers come over and hang out with you in the live and they can be in the live too even though they're far away. They could be in Australia, they could be in New York, could be in Atlanta, could be in California, doesn't matter. Um, as long as they have an internet connection or a smartphone, they can be right there with you in your live. If you click on that invite people and this window will pop up and you can either put their email address in here and hit invite and it will send this link to them or you can click on the link and press control C to copy that or just right click it and hit copy and it will copy that link and if you send that link through Facebook through Twitter through any other means including email any way you want to send that link to them if you send that link to them and they click on that link it brings them right into your live session and they can be live with you and there's really no more to it than that I mean you can you can mute your microphone here so you gotta be careful you see click that my microphone's muted now nobody can hear me so unclick that and then they can hear me you can mute your camera turn your camera off just like that adjust your bandwidth usage change other settings you leave your own call I don't know why you would want to do that that's pretty much all there is to it so if you like this video please sit, hit a thumbs up and then nobody can see you on the camera and please do if you want to see great automotive videos uh, go check out Muscle Car Appraisal. Jim Murphy and Bob over there are the ones who inspired me to make this video because they were wanting to know about the Google Hangouts. And I appreciate that. If you want to see more au great automotive content, go over to our Sane Auto page. And you can see in the chat on that page lots and lots of other great automotive channels, including Muscle Car Appraisal. And there's lots of great ch other channels here with all kinds of great content in the chat under this video and in the chat of other videos on St. Enterprises. If you want to know about how to make money online, we have a whole playlist for that. Till the next video, wishing all our hashtag insane friends, hashtag insane growth. Hi, we're so glad you're here at St. Enterprises. This is Carol Sane. And this is Victor Sane. Isn't he adorable? We're here to help you and the rest of the same community grow. And we're going to have fun helping you celebrate your victories with the whole community. Woohoo! I guess by now you've noticed we're not just another average self-improvement channel. We're a community. And how do they join this community? That's easy. There's this red button right there. Oh, and they got to hit the bell. Don't forget, they've got